As a cybersecurity expert, I've often said that to catch a hacker, you have to think like one. And that's why the Hacker's Movie Guide, the complete list of hacker and cybersecurity movies by Stephen C. Morgan and his son, Connor S. Morgan, is such a great compendium on that very subject. No other book offers such a wide range of cinematic classics spanning over six decades on the subject of these mostly misunderstood cyber protagonists. Hacker movies have always occupied a niche genre in cinema, living somewhere between science fiction and science fact. Most hacker films glorify or vilify these unique individuals, but all have one thing in common, the attempt to get inside the mind of a hacker. When they get, in, get it right, criticisms involving implausible storylines, dated special effects, or verbose techno-speak all fall by the wayside to make room for truly a fascinating character study. Dating all the way back to 1956, the original movie adaptation of Orwell's seminal book by the same name, 1984, kicks off this comprehensive list of cinematic achievements. You might assume that the list jumps many years or even decades until the next notable release, but you'd be wrong. Throughout the 60s and 70s, before the personal computer came into our lives, Hollywood was dazzling audiences with high-tech hits such as The Conversation, 2001, A Space Odyssey, and The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes. Now I know what some of you are thinking. These aren't necessarily hacker movies, but hear me out. Better yet, listen to Apple's co-founder and celebrated tech entrepreneur and philanthropist Steve Wozniak, who also wrote the foreword for this book. He writes, the young hackers use their brains for good and fairness. We all take their sides in the movies. They are the good guys that all of us with brains want to be. No doubt Steve Wozniak is old school and proudly identifies as a hacker because he sees hacking as a way to develop one's own mind while making the world a better place. It's a universal story that transcends the hacking genre. The Hacker's Movie Guide also features today's top InfoSec experts, hackers, authors, and business and government security professionals revealing their favorite hacker movies. Renowned security technologist Bruce Schneier, reformed convicted hacker and security researcher Daniel Kelly, and former White House CIO Teresa Payton, picks might surprise you, so you're just going to have to read the book to find out why. Dozens of luminaries offer opinions on their favorite hacker movies and why they should be included in the book. By providing the timeline and context for all hacker films, the Morgans managed to bridge these seemingly contradictory philosophies and generational opinions about hackers and hacking culture. We begin to understand why Three Days of the Condor and Weird Science deserve to be on this list as much as movies like Hackers and the net do. The actual hacking or crimes might not permeate every story, but the hero's desire to fix the world through exploration is at the center of every one of these films, and also the credo found within the original Hacker's Manifesto published in 1986 by Lloyd Blankenship. He writes, yes, I am a criminal. My crime is that of curiosity. As digital technology progresses into the 21st century, we begin to see clearer parallels between the hacker films and our modern lives. Invasions of privacy and paranoia fuel the storylines in films like Enemy of the State, Pi, and Catch Me If You Can, just as our own fears of being hacked by big tech, big brother, or the lone hacker continue to persist. But these fears are not founded in just fiction. That is why the Hacker's Movie Guide contains many documentaries about hackers, including Secret History of Hacking, Inside the Dark Web, and Citizen Four. Over the past few decades, many documentaries have shed light on real-world cyber issues, and in this book, has them all. Not every film in the Hacker's Movie Guide is great, but that's not the point. As a film buff, I have unlimited streaming content at my fingertips, so it can be hard to settle on something to watch. That's why when I'm in the mood for a newer hacker flick like Ghost in the Shell or an old classic like War Games, it's so nice to scan through one book and just pick a movie to watch. 
I'm giving Hacker's Movie Guide 5 out of 5 stars.